Knowledge Enhancement Lecture. My name is Olivier Rukundo. I am a researcher at the University of Eastern Finland. Today I'm going to explain how the convolution works for edge enhancement. And here I'm going to use an example of convolution of input kernel and image. And later I will show edge enhanced images and combined images. Before I start, I would like to remind that Edge enhancement is a filtering technique for enhancement of edge contrast in an image or video. This technique is uniquely important because the human visual system uses edges as a key factor in understanding the content of an image. Most edge enhancement algorithms implicitly share a common strategy which is detection followed by local edge sharpening. Also, I would like to remind that in image processing, a kernel convolution matrix or mask is a small matrix used for blurring, sharpening or edge detection or any other operation. In this example for edge detection, we use a small matrix or a kernel of the size 3 by 3 this one and here we have an input image of the size 6 by 6 and here we also have a zero array of the size 6 by 6 so now the question is how does convolution work here uh, if we take this example here the first important step is to avoid filtering using correlation instead of convolution. And this can be achieved by flipping horizontally and vertically this kernel, this, this kernel, like this. Now we have a flipped kernel. Next, we pad input image and then slide the flipped kernel of input image as shown here, in this direction. Then. As you can see here, in this, as you can see here, we are doing, we are, or we are calculating a kind of element-wise multiplications. That is a one-to-one -one multiplication, and sum them up as shown here. We, for example, here we get twenty-eight, and this is the output at i j, i j here. And we can do this to all elements. For example, if we move to the next, we get 58, and this is the 58 will, will come here. And we can do this to all the pixel, and uh, we get the results that looks like this. Just in case I didn't make a mistake here. For those who use conf2 and imfilter functions in MATLAB, conf2 function and imfilter function with conf specified they both flip internally the kernel so it's important to be aware of this internal flipping now let's see how it works on real kernels and images and here we have this horizontal and vertical kernels and uh, this is we have the version when one is added to its central coefficient and uh, <clears throat> we also have these images these computed tomography images and uh, these are found in this book handbook of medical image processing and analysis and also we are going to use these images from them which means transmission electron microscopy. Before I start, I would like to remind you that edges can be enhanced with several edge operators other than those just shown. Also, I would like to remind that the application of this kernel to a positive valued image can result in an output image with both positive and negative values. So if we are interested in displaying edge-oriented information, an enhanced image 
with only positive pixels can be obtained by adding an offset in the output image. On the other hand, if you are interested in enhancing edges that are consistent with the kernel and suppressing those that are not, the output image may be added to the input image. And this addition will most likely result in a non-negative image. And now, let's start with horizontal edges and lines. Here we have edge enhanced image and input image and a combination of input image and edge enhanced image. It is here. And in this image, you can see that the edges in this image are clearer than edges in this image. And when we add one to the central coefficient of the horizontal edge kernel, we get image that looks like this. And in this case, we don't need to generate edge enhanced image and add it to the input image. We don't have to do that. So we immediately get image that looks like this. And edges in this image are more visible than in this image here. So now let's look, take another image example, still using the horizontal edges and line kernel. So we have the same situation. We have edge enhanced image, input image, and a combination of input image and edge enhanced image. And we have more visibility here than in this situation here, in the input image situation here. And when we add one to the central coefficient, we get something that looks like this. And we have more visibility in this image, visibility of edges in this image than in this image. And uh, let's use another image example. So here we have so we have a genus image input and a combination of input and output image here and we can see that we have more visibility of edges or object edges in this image than in this situation here the situation of input image here and when we add one to its central coefficient, we still have more visibility in this image than in this image. And uh, if we take another image example, the same situation happens. So this enhanced image, this combined with this one, we get this image, this one, and then when we add one to the central coefficient, in this situation will be the output that looks like this, and input is this one here, and here we have more visibility of object edges than in this image here. And now let's consider vertical edges and lines, and uh, select this kernel, and uh, let's use this image, let's see how image looks like. So, like in previous cases, we have edge enhanced image input and a combination of edge and enhanced image and input image here. And we have more visibility here than in this case. So, so the same situation happens like in the previous cases. So here we have, here we have the output image from a combination of input image and edge enhanced image. And here we have the output image for after adding one to the central coefficient and we have input image and you can see that we have more visibility of edges in this situation than in this situation here now let's take another image example so this is what we get Edge image, input image, and the output image. 
And when we add one to the central coefficient, we get image that looks like this. And this is input image. And here we have more visibility of edges than in this situation here. And some even details are clearer than in this, in this case here. And uh, let's use another image example. Mm. Let's start with this image. So here I'm only showing examples of how edge enhancement works on different medical and biomedical images. And uh, here we have this edge enhanced image, an input image and output image. And this is the result from a combination of these two edge enhanced and input image. And this is the result from after adding one to the central coefficient of the journal and we get image that looks like this and like in previous cases we have more visibility here than in this case and um, now the final example we have this situation here this is output image and this is input image and this is a, from a, is a combination of input image with with this edge enhanced image so a combination gives image that looks like this and here we have an image the upper image after adding one to the central coefficient of the journal and this is the input image and like in all previous cases presented here we always have more visibility of the details in the upper image than in the than the input image so now this is the end of the lecture, thank you.